going guys welcome back to another video with md party rentals so today's video is going to be short uh, it's going to be a short video um it's just going to i'm going to be sharing with you guys my thoughts and feelings about the business you know before starting the business and also i'm going to be sharing some information that i got from somebody that's been in the business for 10 years 10 11 years but yeah uh with that being said let's get started and Pretty much, I knew I wanted to start a business. Um, I knew I wanted to start a business, but I just didn't know what, you know. So what I did is I decided to go on YouTube, and I t I just you know I just typed in on my phone uh, business ideas. So you know business ideas were popping up, but what kept popping up and uh, were people delivering bounce houses, water slides, tables, chairs. So that got my attention for sure you know if it's popping up for a reason it's popping up for a reason you know so what i did is um you know i kept looking 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 into it so i was like, okay you know it's a it's a good business for sure but then you know those negative thoughts start you know kicking in like what if nobody wants to rent from you um you know because of the pandemic because i knew i wanted to start my business in 2020 but like i said that pandemic that was an Something that popped into my head. Or, you know, what if people start making fun of me? Like, oh, look at this guy delivering bounce houses, blah, blah, blah. Because, to be honest, I did share my thoughts, you know, with a few people. And, um, yeah, they, they're just pretty much like, don't do it. You're just throwing your money away. It's just a waste of time. It's So, one day I decided to reach out to one of my good friends. He's a... He's a good friend that I've known for many years. Um, he also has, like I mentioned earlier in the video, he has like 10, 11 years of experience in the business. Um, shout out to my boy Abraham. So I reached out to Abraham and I I just hit him up. I was just like, hey, um, I'm thinking about starting this business. Um, you know, is there any feedback you can share with me from your experience, you know, having your own party rental business? And I want to know if it's the right business for me to start. You know, stuff like that, you know, questions. So he ended up reaching back out to me. He was, you know, he was nice enough He was nice enough to share his experience in the business. He shared pros, cons. He gave me tips. He also gave me websites, you know, where I can go look at uh, inflatables, tables, chairs, you know, do you need to start your party rental business. And uh, one of the tips that he did give me was, he's like, advertise your stuff on social media. Um, he's like, when I first started social media, it wasn't like it is today. You know, now they have Instagram, Snapchat, you know, Facebook is more popular. You know, they have many apps. He's like, so advertise your stuff on social media. He's like, also, you can print out flyers. Print out flyers, hand them out to people, go go post them, go put them in your local businesses. A lot of people go to the post office, go put them in the post office. You know, get your name out there. Let people know that you're starting a business. You know, so, hey, I with all the information he was giving me, you know, I was writing it down. And he did share that, he did share this con with me that, um, that to be honest, I didn't even think about. But um, there, there is going to be times that you might not make it to a family event or any type of event or you're going to have to leave early from, from an event because either you have, to go, you have to go pick up where you rent it out because you probably rent it out at a public park, public housing, apartments, or maybe the customer just, just wanted it for a few hours, you know? So that's something that that is most likely going to happen. So just know that. But he also shared this pro that, that stuck with me, you know. That is still stuck with me. He was like, if you dedicate yourself towards your business and work hard enough in it, you can you can make a living out of it. You can be your own boss. You'll be, you, you, be, you can become successful in this party uh rental industry and so um guess what i started my business 
I started my business in 2020, and to be honest, it's been a great journey. It's been a great, it's been, you know, great to me. Um, I have no complaints whatsoever. You know, yeah, you have, you know, stuff that you deal with, but it comes, you know, it comes with the business. Um, I don't regret it. So, I mean, I'm just looking forward to what the future has for, for my business, you know, and myself. And also, like I said, shout out to Abraham. If it wasn't for the information he gave me, his knowledge he shared with me, I probably wouldn't have started this business. If you guys have any questions, um, you guys can just send me a message on Instagram or drop your comment down below. But yeah, guys, that's it. Uh, stay tuned to for uh, for the next video. Hope you guys enjoy this video, and uh, see you guys see you guys next time.